I don't live to eat. I eat to live. Now my mama biscuits. Martin and Gina just got done getting it on, if that's what you want to call the five seconds of pleasure he gave her. And let's just say Martin needs to work on his stamina. Martin, you huffing and puffing. You, 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 you're out of breath. <coughs> no, no doubt. A brother a little winded. But... It's only been five minutes. Well, Gina, I got mine. You ever hear of finishing what you started, King? Sheesh. Baby, you need to come work out with me at one of my exercise classes. That's what you need to do. Gina is trying to improve their sex life and maybe extend Martin's little life in general. Tommy and Cole are in any better shape for Martin as they snacking out on the couch right along with him. We really need to go work out. You sound like Gina. Tommy, per the usual, is the voice of reason and suggests they work out in Gina's class. Cole is only convinced by the prospect of sweaty, bouncing women. Ugh, captain of the creep squad. Can we take a second? Because I don't understand why they all sitting so close. Like, it's a whole other couch in there. The boys decide to join the aerobics class, but they are not taking it seriously at all. I mean, do you see what Tommy got on? I see we have three new men joining our class today. This aerobics class is a different world, huh? Tommy and Cole are broken. And again, Martin is doing the absolute most. You're pathetic. <laughs> why don't you just quit? Because That's why not... Martin just quit, you know? Because you so pumped. Ham, girl, don't even get Martin started. You know his ego ain't built for this. When his masculinity is questioned, Martin goes off the deep end, and now it's Gina's problem to solve. Rise and shine, Gina. Rise. Oh, hell no. I know he did not run up in there banging on no pots and pans. Gina is just trying to make breakfast, but the fridge has become another casualty of Martin going ham. Lips that touch swine will never touch mine. Girl, because I feel so divine. Martin recruits Stan and Sean to take his aerobics class. Yes, his aerobics class, because Martin has somehow managed to take over the whole thing. Ladies, get out. I saw you at Rollo's Chicken Shack last night. So you just gonna body shame my girls who's just trying to get their workout on? And for the record, women have up to 11% more body fat than men because, you know, we just do a little something like bring life into the world sometimes. Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, nah. These moves cannot be safe. Despite Martin's reign of terror, Gina is still gonna attempt to save her man from himself Sis, please just let him crash and burn. Gina has a plan. She sets up this delicious dinner and leaves Martin with some dry ass rice cakes. I can't front. Martin is holding strong, but then Gina pulls out the secret weapon. Now my mama biscuits. Damn it, Gary, y'all give me something. Y'all give me something. Y'all give me something. Wait in the room. You next. Let's review. Martin can't last in bed, and Gina pushes him to get in better shape. Him and his doughboys mock her aerobics class, but are quickly embarrassed. Pam punks him out, and Martin goes off the deep end, terrorizing Gina. She exercises this bootleg, both legs version of Martin by using his mama biscuits and her body yaddy yaddy. The gravy right on the on the thing. Oh. Look how it's hitting the meat. Now you're going over your oh. potato. Oh. Nothing a little biscuits and gravy can't solve. Get the gravy boat. We can do some things. <laughs> so after all of that. Is Martin a fuckboy? Let us know what you think in the comments.